Good morning, Daily Trader TV, episode 6. It's the 23rd of the 1st. Uh, it's about 10 past 9. Just a quick disclaimer to make sure nobody gets in trouble. Uh, you shouldn't buy or sell financial instruments. Don't buy or sell an instrument just because you see that I have stock score as well as down. Be extremely careful using leverage because you can lose more money than you've actually got. And today's question is, what software do you use? Uh, which was something somebody on, I think it was Snapchat, asked me. So let's uh, let's dive in. <clears throat> so this piece of software is uh, by a company called Sherpad, and they offer two subscription packages. One is end of day prices, meaning you don't get all this information. So the prices <coughs> don't update in real time. I think they're about 15 minutes lagged, which to be truthful for the way I trade is, is probably fine. Um, I think off the top of my head, it's 25 pound a month. Uh, the package I've got is live data uh, which is 600 pound a month so i'll just briefly show you through so you can see all the overall markets and uh, you can design and pick which markets you you want to view so you get all the markets uh, just by clicking on them or using the, the space bar to flick through them uh, so just just having a look at the each one down here we've got the volume and again this is all customizable a lot of different options to set up you can put all your own moving averages on these are these colored lines um, you can have different time frames so this is an interday frame um, so I've got I got them set up the way I like my trade on price action. So I have different views. So for example, that's a one year view, that's a three year view. Again, all customizable. You can add if you're into Davos boxes or trend lines, you can put them all in yourself. Uh, you can draw, you can put fib tools on. Uh, put text boxes in you can share them onto social media if we go into you can set up portfolios so I've got a number of portfolios so at the moment these are the open trades uh, I've got one for stocks that I'm watching so you can see here that I've got my eye on some some stocks. If we go back into the UK portfolio, you can see this news column. You can see one of these is green today, and that's because DPU has uh, has reported a trading update. So we go into the news tab. I can see the RNS that uh, has been issued into the market. So I can see exactly when the companies I'm interested in have reported. Uh, if we go back to the chart, you can see down here, you can see uh, dates for announcements. So 22nd of the 26th of the second, we're expecting a Q4 update. So obviously today's news is in lieu of the update on the 26th. Um, what else can I show you? Uh, we had a something went X div the other day. Uh, anyway, you can see here that um, you can put events. So I can see that RFX went X dividend. So I know to expect a dividend. Um, 
you see the so that x dividend is when the <coughs> the uh, the stock goes x dividend. So the the price of the stock is reduced by the dividend, and then this is the dividend payment date. So I know that on the 20, 20th of the second, I needed to go to my account and check that I'd actually received, physically received the dividend payment. Um, we can go into financials and we see a, a summary of everything about the company. Uh, we can find the website, all the contact numbers, all the key information, what the company does. who the, the directors are. Uh, we can see the income sheet. We can see the balance sheet. We can see cash flow sheet. And again, these are all customizable. You can see the dividends and the ratios, the brokers, and uh, a custom sheet. So I'm really only interested in the growth and growth forecast. So I've designed the things that I'm interested in, uh, but you can put whatever you want on here. Uh, you can see that all the director dealings, you can set up alarms. So if I set up an alarm, you can see the, tr the trigger down here. So for example, I can go on the chart, <coughs> put a line in, Um, and then I can set a line along. So if the price falls below that, that line or rises above that line, then I, I get the alarms kicking so it comes up on my screen. Take that back out. Uh, I've got a calendar, which is a calendar for the, for the portfolio. So I can see that on the 30th of Jan, we've got some AGMs. Uh, 1st of Feb, we've got uh, a special dividend going, that's been going X dividend. So I know that the, the, there's going to be a short, uh, a small price decrease, and it's due to to the X dividend. I've got financial charts, which is things I've set up for EPS, uh, investor tools, which I don't really use. So the only other thing to show you is that I can see the order book. So these here are, is every single trade <coughs> that's been transacted on the market. So for example, you can see here that 80157, 1207 shares were traded at 230 pence. Um, I can also see the, all the orders, the depth of the order book. Uh, it's not that important really, it's not something I'd recommend for beginners. So that gives you, uh, that uh, answers the question, that's the software I use. I'm not suggesting you rush out and uh, get it for yourself. There are lots of other systems out there, that's just the one I use. And for now, probably the best thing you could do would be to um, just get a demo account with someone like IG Index. If, uh, if you're struggling to do that, just let me know and perhaps help you out. Uh, so just looking at the portfolio for today, if we just quickly run through. Not a lot happening, it's quite slow. DPU has updated. Market seems to be okay about it. EQN, okay. And what you should be able to uh, to see already is that not a lot happens quickly. Trading isn't a get quick, get rich quick scheme. Uh, it, if it's done properly, it's very, very dull and boring. Um, so. And a bit tedious so sometimes think nothing happens for quite a long time and then the stock takes off 
Um, often there's not a lot to do each day, uh, which is just how I like it. I like to get on with other things. Uh, I'm very, very wary of a lot of the stuff I see on social. <clears throat> I think most of it's bullshit, is the, the truth. Um, but I know it is. <laughs> it's not, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll explain why I know it's bullshit. People are posting things on uh, social media about where they bought and where they've sold. And I can see all the trades. So, so I, I know that they haven't bought or sold in those positions. So I don't say anything, I don't call them out, but there's a lot of bullshit goes on on social media. Um, I think people are more interested in being popular than, than being of service to others. <coughs> uh, there was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh yeah, so yeah, not, uh, not a lot going on this morning. Everything looks fine. If we go to the uh, trading account, uh, we can see that at the moment we're, we're off all time highs. There's the all time high. There's the current live account. Uh, so we're off all time highs, which is completely normal. I, uh, I mentioned to somebody yesterday, there's all these tabs down here. And um, in due course, I'll explain what all those things are. In the meantime, if you've got any questions, uh, drop them onto YouTube. Uh, I'm big on giving. I'm, I'm equally so. I'm more than happy to ask as well. So you'd be doing me a favour if you if you like the video, press the uh, the thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends and family, and. Also, leave your questions in the comments because I'm finding it difficult to keep track of where the, co the questions are coming from and I want to get through all the questions. So, have a great day. See you tomorrow.